I wanted to thank everybody. We just hit 17,000 subscribers the other day. Thanks, Modern Steaders. Good morning, Modern Steaders. We got probably at least eight inches of snow yesterday and last night. It's crazy. It's cold out this morning. They're calling for today and tomorrow to be negative 40 with the wind chill. It's going to be cold. I'll have to make sure all the animals have extra hay. Well, we were getting a lot of questions about how does our outdoor greenhouse hold up with all the snow and what do you need to do. This morning before I clean off the winter chicken coop, I thought I'd show you how I do it and what works well for us. Let's dig some hay out of the snow for him. They love the fresh hay this time of the year especially. They'll peck through it, eat all the grains. To help encourage that, I'll just put the food on it. We don't like to have electricity out running to our coops. So what we really like using are these rubber water buckets, mats, troughs, whatever you want to call them. And they get frozen, flip them over, step on them, boom. It's nice and clean. With the snow on the greenhouse, it gets pretty dark in here too. What I use to clean off the greenhouse Whatever I have in my hand, if you have a push broom, that works good. If you have your feed bucket, that works good too. just like that and it lets so much more light in by keeping the snow off of it and we don't have to worry about the greenhouse collapsing on us and the chickens really like the extra light one of the other really good benefits about doing this is it piles up the snow along the side of the winter chicken coop slash greenhouse and it helps keep out the drafts. It seals it up. Believe it or not, snow is a very good insulator. Believe for every inch of snow, you get one R value. So that's pretty good. So the heat can go up the top, which is fine. But if we can keep a lot of the drafts out on the sides for the animals, it's great. You don't want it airtight because your animals need fresh air circulating. You couldn't have your animals in a barn a heated barn that's not good for them. You want to have them out of the elements. The biggest thing is you want to keep them out of the wind and they want, you want to have a place for them to go and get in from the wind in the rain or water. But the elements, the cold is still good for them. You just want to have it a draft free area. It's kind of weird. Like we want to go inside in a warm house. I'm sure the animals would love to do it, but it's not healthy for them. So we got to remember that we're not Animals don't react to this weather the same way we do. The more they're out in it, the better it is for them, especially the more natural it is. Like our pigs are getting a huge winter coat on them, so that's keeping them warm. Yesterday when I was out feeding them in the afternoon, it was snowing out good, but all the snow was melted off them. They were wet from sweating. And then they can go inside their tote with the hay, go in there, they can dry off, they can get warm, they can go back in and out. This weather doesn't bother them. They're getting acclimated to it. They're doing really good. Speaking of that, let's go check on the pigs and see how they're liking all the snow we got.
Guess we gotta pack our trail down. If it ever warmed up, we could do some snowshoeing. It's gonna be way too cold this weekend. To get under this tree keeps getting narrower and narrower. We gotta keep ducking. I think it's between the snow buildup and the tree getting weighted down from all the snow. They've been out and about. Good morning. What do you girls think of the snow? Oh, you know what that means, huh? Ready for a drink? Pigs slurping in the background. I don't know if that noise will ever get old. They, they definitely are eating a lot more, which is a good thing. I want to see them eating. That means they're staying warm. If we need to go through an extra couple of bags of feed to keep them warm, it's worth it. Later on today, I'll bring them out a fresh bale of hay. Went to the feed store the other day and I picked up a few extra bales of hay because I knew it was going to be cold out this coming week and weekend. It's banked up nice all around the sides of the greenhouse. What do you think of all this snow? You get the day off yesterday and a two hour delay today. And this is just a week back from winter break. Yes. Yeah. You get a whole nother break. I was hoping today to start building our large soil block maker that our medium size soil blocks will fit into. But with all this cold coming, and snow we got, we got to switch gears. We have some Quonset tents or tent sheds. We got to clean those off, otherwise they're gonna collapse. And we need to get more firewood in the house. Tomorrow, today it's supposed to start. It's supposed to be like 40 below zero with the wind chill. We're gonna be going through some firewood. So we've already gone through quite a bit this week. It's been so darn cold. That pile was about up to the window. We had another one in front of it. I'm gonna clean this up and get some more wooden. Aprons drying nicely. I might have went a little overboard, but I want to have like an heirloom quality apron that I know will handle my abuse, that I can do anything with it and not have to worry about it. And it just gets better and better with age. Like it gets more patina to it and it'll last. That's when I like to do stuff. That's kind of my thought pattern now. Like when we built the house. We used all wood, wood floor, wood walls, wood, wood siding, metal roof, like if something's gonna happen to it, if we abuse it or it gets beaten up a little bit, I want it to look nicer with age. The outdoor kitchen, all rough sawn lumber, it's just, the older it gets, the more character it's gonna get, the more age it's gonna have. Now with our new day modern plastic world, the older it gets, the crappier it gets, and it's, phew, throw it away and get some new stuff. What do they say, vinyl's final? It's not. Wood is final, just don't paint it. Oil it. If you oil stuff, it lasts. Like the outside of our house, we oiled the siding, and if we have to redo it, we don't have to scrape it and paint it. We can power wash it, let it dry, and re-oil it. Easy peasy. And it'll just keep adding to the richness and the beauty over time. And that's what I'm hoping for with the leather apron. It's probably, half of it's probably completely dry. So I'm excited. I can't wait to start using it. I'll be using it in the intensive three day pasture to plate class we're gonna be putting on here in April with the pigs. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. 
All right, enough staying warm by the fire. We gotta get outside and get some stuff done. Pluto doesn't look like she wants to come out, but I bet as soon as we get ready to go out and we ask, she'll be right out the door with us. Jumping around in the snow, come back in, she'll have to lie by the wood stove and melt the snow off of her. You ready to go out? Snow shovels, hay for the animals, snow broom. This thing works amazing for cleaning off your cars. We're not using it for that right now. Right, Pluto? Guess first of all, I gotta get in the hair. Coming? Come on, let's fight. Hell, we're going to the tent, Pluto. You got it. Whew. Snow is neat. The snow is knee deep over here. Oh, even deeper. This Quonset tent was over that way quite a bit. The tractor was pocked in it. We had a microburst that came through last spring. Took the tent off, threw it up in the trees. But a month later, it landed back down over here. We haven't used it for the Kubota since. Well, we gotta make sure we keep it cleaned off, otherwise it's gonna cave in and it'll be junk. Whew. Well, the snow hasn't been plowed knee deep right now. It's just the beginning of January. We're gonna get a lot of snow this year. I think Monday and Tuesday they're calling for more snow. Whew. Glad I got that roof cleaned off. It would have caved in with the next storm I bet you. Slow down. Come on. Slow down. Let's go. Hey. Slow down. You want to go in and defrost? Come on.
You're nice and warm, Figaro. to finish up plowing inside. The camera's not liking the wind chill out there this morning. We've already had a few camera errors. Go get firewood. At least now tomorrow when it's blowing 40 below zero all day long, we'll be warm. Figaro will be happy too. He's got a new log pile to climb on. keep us warm for a few days. I hope <laughs> ah, there, now I know. I can sleep good at night. We'll have a nice warm house. We lose power. We don't have to worry about electricity heating our house. If it's 40 below outside, we got plenty of wood in the house, but you don't got to go outside and get it. I'm ready to stay inside this weekend. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.